Herr Morgan! Herr Morgan! Mr. Strauss? You busy, my friend? Why? I'll cut you in. Loaning? Already? You know how it is. People is happy to borrow off someone like me, but more enthusiastic paying back to someone like you. Of course. Mr. Robe. God damn it. No, no, no. Yes, 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 yes. I need, I must eat, Prosho. Okay, that should about cover things. Matthews. Oh, no, no, not me, sir. Uh, uh, that's the greenhorn over there. Oh, and there he goes. So long, long shark. <laughs> yeah. Damn it. Hey, get back here. You owe us money. Now, come on. <sighs> Goddamn treasure hunt. You're lucky I ain't taking your teeth as well. such a goddamn performance with you. Now, I told you I'd get you the money next week, and I'll get it. If you didn't make it this week, who's to say? Lily, where's our money? What? Stop it! Oh, you oh, you. Ah. Oh. <gasps> oh. All right, all right. He has all my money. I, I gave it all to him. Just take everything that you find on him, and let's be done with this. Please. I just can't cope. Really? <laughs> I can't. How did you get on, Herr Morgan? Fine. Our accounts, 
are up to date. Sad sacks, a lot of them. Good, very good. My pleasure. Uh, well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Downs. Mr. Thomas Downs, you owe me money. Uh, oh no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm. Oh, come here, you maggot! Please, sir, I'm. I'll... Really? Threaten me, would you? <sighs> ah, how did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead, and they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Well, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. here. Maybe this is our man. You a bounty hunter, mister? <laughs> oh, what we got here? Are you Benedict Albright? Oh, sir? Huh. Mistake. Madam, uh, please remember what I told you. Heard there was a body found around the back of the swing. It was left in the dirt. Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. I would love to see you again, if you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton. Yes? Please, Arthur. Will you help me? Where is it? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. Speak to the boy. Arthur? Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but... Somehow, I imagine I shall. Howdy. 
Herr Strauss. How are you enjoying yourself here? Well enough, I guess. And you? Well, it turns out the pursuit of freedom is not a cheap business. box for yourself if you don't got that money you owe Leopold Strauss. Well, this'll do. Now get out of here before someone sees you. Can't believe it's come to this. <laughs> Homes. I didn't expect to run into no one out here. Holmes? Winton Holmes? She got it. Crap. Damn dead deader. This here the Gray Plantation? Yep. Sheriff's orders. He wanted me to have a word with some folk on the property. I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's got all the time in the world. Huh. I'll see you at the Sheriff's office. Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. We don't get a lot of traveling men here, and suddenly there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? Take her this letter and this bracelet, please. Oh, look out for their guards. They're worse with strangers than ours are. Are you Penelope Braithwaite? Uh, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. If you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Sure. You got my money? 
Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. Well, Haven't you sure. got anything better to do? Oh, oh you always were. Bo, little... weren't we just leaving? So <laughs> oh, who the hell is this? Follow me, Ron. Oh, uh, what? You'll hit me? <gasps> Come on. Sir, Shh. can you not see how idiotic you are? Come on, Bo. Let's go. Quick now. We are all Americans. We gotta go before they think twice. Oh, Lord. Follow me. I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. A land of progress. Look at the beautiful land we have built. But... You don't want to go back and hear the speeches? I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Oh, here, your payment. Thank you. Excuse me. Still working, Mr. Strauss. What you been up to? Trying to wrap up our accounts before we leave, Mr. Morgan. So you'll be joining us in Tahiti? I uh, rather fancied Australia. Good reason for being on my property, mister. You remember that loan you took, Mr. Davison? Well, time's long since up. I'm here to collect. Just leave me alone. Son, I want to get out of here, but I can't until I find some money. This... Some in my footlocker. I I've been keeping it away from him. Ain't that lucky. I think I know the sum. And that should cover it. Ain't you the good son. You should be proud of yourself. Sir, will you help the poor? I ain't so kind. Yes, you are, sir. You have it in you, I can tell. I'm a nasty bit of work, father. You're wrong on two counts, sir. I'm a humble brother, a penitent monk, not a priest, and you're a magnificent bit of work. You may have made some, some poor choices, but which of us hasn't? Give two bits to the poor. There are so many who will go hungry. Sure. Bless you, sir. Here payment for your services I could not have freed these men myself give it to the poor brother thank you I will like I said magnificent come on come 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 see me again sometime I often work at the old church on Gasper Street in st. Francis W, an upside down M. Evening to you. Sister, my friend, Mr. Morgan. Oh, sir, 
Brother Dorkings told me about the wonderful thing you did. Oh, he talks a lot of nonsense. No offense. None taken. None taken at all. Hey, stop! You are the most wonderful man. Oh, excuse me, Father. Sister, enjoy your day. See, Father? Brother Dorkins called him. I told you. Brother Dorkins was fantastic. My dear Arthur, I hope this letter finds you well. It's not my fault, but I need your help. I'm staying at the Hotel Grand in San Denis. Mr. Morgan. <laughs> Herr Strauss. How are you? About... About how I look. Okay. <sighs> are you, um... Are you perhaps available for some work? Debtors? Yes. I guess. J. John Weathers. They call me Snow Goose now. Whatever they call you. You borrowed money off of Leopold Strauss. Look, you can take the silver locket for the debt. Damn the debt. Just get her somewhere safe. Go on. Thank you, fella. You know, there ain't enough kindness in this world, that's for sure. But you... I don't know nothing about cannabis. I'm looking for an Arthur Londonderry. I was told he works here. Londonderry? Oh, you'll want to speak to the foreman. He's down in the pit. You might get something off his widow just across from Butcher's Creek, but I'd hurry. Is London Derry? <coughs> Off is dead. I know. There ain't nothing left, mister. Uh, I just wanted to say 
The debt's canceled, and to here, take this. It won't bring your husband back, I know. You need money, and I don't. Well, you're a good man. How did you get on, Mr. Morgan? Just Danny. Hmm. Just... Get up. What? Get up! What? What is wrong? Nothing's wrong. Nothing at all. What are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. Hello, sister. Uh, Calderon. Brother Dorkins and I were talking about you just the other day and hoping we would see you again. Well, how is Brother Dorkins? Oh, he's quite well. <laughs> These children need your help. You know what, sister? I think I've already got plenty of food on me. They could just eat mine. You are wonderful, Mr. Morgan. Now, that ain't true. Oh, I meant wonderful, but so very frightening, as you wish. Consider your good deed done for the day. I won't subject you to any more benevolence. Sister Ethel makes a fabulous stew. They will be so happy. and talk to your mama and get out of here. Now run. I'll try. Good boy. I don't want to see you here again. Mr. Morgan. You still here, kid? Yes. Mama... Uh, Mama can't leave. Or won't leave. I, I don't know. I said I had the money. It, she said your money weren't moral. She said it'd be better to die than to take it. I'm just so ashamed. Ashamed? <laughs> of what? <laughs> you loved him? <laughs> You did everything for him. <laughs> Let's get you home. All right. 
Let's go. Don't say anything. Don't thank me. Just take the money and pack your bags. That's all I gotta say. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. I said don't thank me. Get out of here. Please. Dear sir, you were once very kind to Bo and myself, and it pains me to ask you to show us further kindness. Most days, I am to be found at the cabins on the plantation. The main house and all it stood for are thankfully no more. Yours faithfully, Penelope Braithwaite. Uh, calm down, miss. Oh, come on, let's go. We ain't got a minute to lose. Uh -huh. You're a fine man, sir. Just get out of here. I'll leave. Yeah! Flies trust the man from the outside. Hello, come in. sound very well. I'm not. I'm, I think I'm dying. Then I hope you find peace. Well, I don't know too much about peace. Apparently not. I didn't get the impression anything would be happening for a few months. I'm very sorry, sir. I did everything I could. I know, Captain. And I assure you I will continue to do as much as I can. Mr. Morgan, would you have time to help me at all? I would rather certain actions were taken by friends outside the tribe. Sure, I can help. That's good news. Thank you. Come meet me on the reservation whenever you can. Even just a couple hours of your time. Anyway, gentlemen, I won't take up any more of your time. I'll see you both soon. Sure. Thank you, Captain. Enjoy the ride. I got your things, I think. Yes. Thank you. I'm very sorry about this.
Hello. Here I am, as promised. Captain Monroe. Of course. Chief's going out trying to find medications. It's quite a business. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Bandit or not, this was a good thing. Maybe it'll get us both killed, but it had to be done. I hope so. This is it. You okay? Peach. You sure? No, I ain't sure. You wanna ride with me now or meet me up at Hanging Dog Ranch when you can? <whistles> Thanks, Arthur. Okay. Come on. You uh might wanna get yourself cleaned up. <laughs> Thank you, Arthur.